Okay, so <clears throat> how do we split? There's this object called split we should talk about. So let's see. We talked briefly about it, yeah. but let's talk more about it. Yeah, split just takes the input data and kind of uh, routes it into one of two places. If the data is between the two values that split specifies, then it will go out the left outlet. Otherwise, if it's not, anything else will go out the right outlet. So let's say, um, let's say we've got uh, this split, all these split objects here. So this one says split 40, 50. Any number that comes in that's between 40 and 50 is gonna cause this bang to fire. Uh, 50 and 60 is gonna cause this bang to fire. 61 and 78, 78, 100. So now when you, when you scrub this number box to, let's see, 40, all those numbers are causing those banks to fire off. And you can see that it's splitting the value. So, um, but it's not just banks that are going through, it's actually the, the numbers themselves are being routed. So, so let's say split, uh, let's between 50 and 100. So any numbers that are between 50 and 100 are gonna come out there, um, are gonna come out this, the main outlet, the, the left outlet. Um, so, all right, so any numbers that aren't within that range are going to come out this this junk outlet where everything comes out. Everything that's not, you know, successful is going to come out there. But when it is between the range specified, then it comes out that way. So cool. Yeah, really simple. So I had a student who said, I, wanna, uh, I want different heart rates to trigger different things. If the heart rate's between 40 and 42, then trigger this thing. If it's between 50 and 60, trigger this other thing. So you can actually gang together these split objects because <clears throat> um, because everything that doesn't match between 50 and 100 is going to come out here. You could have another split that's connected uh, in series. So you can, you can sort of string together these split objects and say something like, well, I want 1 to 10 to come out there and then, you know, 10 to 20 to come out here and so on and so forth um shut the front door let's just how you do it let's see so 1 to 10 is going to come out there and then 10 to 11 but which where does 10 actually come out 10 is only going to come out this first one it's not going to come out this one because it's it's because they're strung together um it's never going to reach the 10 is never going to reach this one so you would think it would but uh, you don't have to string them though. You could also do it this way, but but you see what happens is because I have one to ten coming out here and ten to twenty, ten's going to come out both places. So stringing them together just means that you're going to ensure that oh, it only comes out one or the other. So here we made this thing was um, we had this heart rate sensor that was going up and down, and we wanted to scale it, uh, or we wanted different things to be triggered by different heart rates. So you can see all this stuff's happening through these split objects, and then in the end they're triggering these numbers that causes the uh, select object to, to fire these bangs. But then we figured out that there was an even simpler way. You could just use a scale operator. But split's going to give you um, the ability to create different ranges. So here we have 60 to 70, um, but here we only have 40 to 42. So you can have big right. ranges and small ranges and some can overlap. Of, right. Yeah. You can't do that with the oh, scale. No, 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 sorry. Yeah. Oh no, they're not going to overlap not because overlap. they're strung together right. in right. sequence. Um, but if you did them in parallel, then they could, they could overlap. Right. Yeah. But split is always, you know, is broadly useful for sort of filtering data streams. Yeah. All right.